for a mirror on the wall. Show me the most interesting election of all right, them so Good all. morning, good afternoon, good night, and welcome to welcome to welcome to the early morning hustle show where I'm here to test your patience and your intelligence. So let's tap, 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 tap in, tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Y'all, honestly, I don't know how I feel about the Democratic National Convention. I can't even much hold you. I can't. I can't hold you. It's a lot of rigmarole and conversation going on about what's going on. And let's really just get into it. Let me see if this is a, a better articulation. Y'all know I like to cover up people's face, but this is my source, huh? But this is uh, officially, this is how I feel. It says the DNC is officially the influencer convention. Listen, from the music that I heard last night to the roll call to the soundtrack for Kamala's campaign bro is this the fucking democratic na democratic national convention or is it a q party because I, <laughs> I don't know like y'all tell me let's tap into some of the stuff that i did see yesterday were off. Behind closed doors, Trump mocks his supporters. He calls them basement dwellers. Let him talk about On a hospital like visit one time when people were dying in the ICU, he was mad dwellers. that the cameras were not watching him. He has no empathy, no morals, and no fidelity to the truth. He used to tell me, it doesn't matter what you say, Stephanie. Say it enough and people will believe you. But it does matter. What you says matter. So again, one, nothing against South Dakota, but I don't know if y'all watched the whole roll call, but I couldn't. And as per the, or as for the speakers, like the young lady that was on the staff, oh, I got to run the, the commercial for y'all too, so we about to go on a commercial break. But as for the young lady who spoke on the staff, uh, Trump supporters, how do y'all feel about that? She say she used to work with the boy and he used to talk about y'all like a dog. It don't sound like she lying. You get what I'm saying? So, um, like, the Democratic National Convention just is, is different. It hit different. And I don't know if... I should be excited or not. I want to bring back the decorum. Now, I'm about to play the DNC uh, Trump commercial. And then I'm about to play this video of this young lady that I found who felt a certain way about the Democratic National Convention. And unfortunately, I feel like she was bashing it. But I feel the same way. She's talking about how unpatriotic. And I understand that it's not patriotic to have, you know, black people in their culture. But it... I feel like she's pandering to black people. I feel like, I don't know. I can't, I can't explain it. Like I said, she going to win. Do your best. I mean, if you got a marketing team, look at this boy. He happy as a fucking road lizard. And then can we talk about how Barack Obama and, uh, I'm about to call it Chris and Michelle, Michelle Obama ate Donald Trump down. Like, it's just like this interest, this, this election is the most interesting of them all. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Show me the most interesting election of them all. And then... Education every single time. Bing, 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 bing. She said Kamala has one big advantage. She's a very beautiful woman. I'm a better looking person than Kamala. He says, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, no, 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 other than day one. I'd like to congratulate Vladimir Putin for having made yet another great deal. Jim Jong-un had a good relationship with him. 
Tough, smart guy. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. The weird one, J.D. is not at all. The people who are most deranged and most psychotic are people who don't have kids at all. Democratic this National Convention cannot play patriotic music. It's sickening. Think of the songs that have been played so far tonight in comparison. And of course they have a minority singing. And then they show the oddest people in the audience. So God. out of all the videos that I showed you, I feel like that <coughs> sums up the Democratic National Convention. I don't think that it's a shit show, but I definitely think that it's a show nonetheless. You get what I'm saying? And I mean, I, they're pandering to our generation. They're pandering to the voters that they think are going to vote. I have just realized that I might be a little bit old-fashioned in that. Give me some patriotism. You know what I'm saying? Give me some decorum. Give me some some something. But everything she said, of course they have a minority. That girl was an idiot. But I thought that too. Of course it's a black girl. When little John was came up there and sang, bro, I changed it. I'll say this. I couldn't watch the Democratic National Convention because it was too fucking painful for me to watch because I feel like it's embarrassing. But it's going to win. But it's just like, is this what we got to do to win? I don't know. I feel like she don't got to do all of this. But I mean, if you're going to have a party, you know, if you're going to have, it is a rally, then, but the roll call, all right, all right, all right. We're going to go to Donald Trump real fucking quick because you already know that boy was out on the trails today and of course he had some fucking rubato so let's let's go I better go to say his car was as big as Biden yeah, okay. thank you very much we all know yeah. with Donald Trump, size matters. So I decided to put a picture of a big crowd so he wouldn't feel like less of a man. All right, so Things that I want to talk about from Donald Trump. So first off, um, I can't run the video because I use all my video up on camera because I think that's what I should be doing. But can we not forget about the Central Park Five? I was watching an interview this morning and one of the young men from the Central Park Five um, did an interview and he said it's it's quite scary to see somebody like Donald Trump have power. If you don't know what the Central Park Five is, you need to go and do your homework because I completely forgot about his involvement with that. Um and so in that video, he said, maybe hate is what's needed to make a change. He was responding to um, the pushback on how he felt about the Central the Central Five. You know, so this was a, a blast from the past. And so maybe hate is what's needed. Maybe people need to get together and have a disdain. Again, I told y'all yesterday that this election will not be that of Democrat and Republican. It's intelligence versus non-intelligence. Sympathetic versus non-sympathetic, empathetic versus non-empathetic. And so maybe we might need to hate him enough to make a change. We might, maybe there should, is a, there will be enough disdain for him so that people will swing their vote over to the other side. And I just want to say that young lady said just what I said yesterday, right before she got on, they said, he said, she said, Trump lacks empathy and that's why we shouldn't vote for him. Listen, I don't care. I understand about his, his policies for people with money. I understand that, but would you rather some good and a lot of bad or the unknown and I don't know, possibility of bad. I just, it's still in a bad spot, y'all. All right, all right, all right. That boy said he was going to make sure he gets rid of critical race, race theory and uh, the ability to really talk about transgender or to be transgender. First off, what does he have against the critical race theory? I don't know what anyone has against the critical race theory because it, I used to teach that. So I feel like, he is trying to suppress history. Like, why do we keep talking about this? Because it's still fucking going on. And then somebody at the press conference asked him about the wall. He said, we started building it. We still building it. I don't know. But Donald Trump is, he's back on the campaign trail. Um, he did have a really good energy, uh, energy interview with Theo Vaughn. So make sure y'all check that out. But... <clears throat> His, the Republican National Convention versus the Democratic National Convention, I'm going to say Kamala's taking this by a landslide. She's making politicking great again.